Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on AWS's web services. My name is Matthew Eddy and today we're going to be covering AWS Backup. Now AWS Backup is a fully managed service that makes it easy to centralize and automate data protection across your AWS services. So pretty much we can automate the backing up of our data for our EBS volumes, our DynamoDB tables, which we'll see an example here today, um, our Elastic File Systems, and so forth. Pretty much almost all of our storage that we have on AWS, as well as on-premise. Um, and so today we're going to uh, see a quick example on how we can use the AWS Backup Services, or AWS Backup Service, excuse me, to back up a DynamoDB table that I have created here. Now, before we get started, there is one thing I would like to point out. I have already created a IAM role to uh, allow us to back up our data, to grant us the permissions to use the AWS backup service. Here are the policies that are attached to the backup role uh, that I created already. I also have this DynamoDB table that we're going to use to uh, back up our data. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to back up the data based on tags, right? And so to do that, I'm going to select this table right here. It is now selected. And I'm going to go to Actions, and I'm going to hit Add Tag to Selection. I'm then going to click Add New Tag, and I'm going to call the tag Backup, or the, I'm going to call the key Backup, and the value will be set to a true. And I'm going to add that tag to the table. Wonderful. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to the backup service. I'm on AWS backup now. And I want to create a backup vault. Now creating a backup vault is actually pretty simple. You just click on create backup vault. You give it a name. I'm going to call mine Dynamo DB backups. And I'm going to choose the default encryption key, which is AWS backup. And then I'm going to hit create backup vault. All right, so now we got our, eight, our DynamoDB backups uh, bolt created. Let's go ahead and create a backup plan for our QR scans. Now, I'm going to jump over here to backup plan, and I'm going to click create backups. I'm going to select build new plan, and I'm going to call my plan name backup DynamoDB. Uh, for the backup rule, I'm going to call it Dynamo Backups. Dynamo backup. For the backup bolt, I will select my Dynamo DB backups. For the frequency, this is how how often you want the backups to happen. I'm gonna select mine to weekly, and instead of Saturday, I'll choose on Sunday. Uh, the start time, let's have it start at one in the morning, all the way up here, and that is New York Standard or Eastern Time. Total retention, we'll leave at 35 days. This is how long you want to retain the uh, the data that is backed up by the AWS backup service. And we're gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom and hit create backup plan. Wonderful, now the backup plan has been created. And since we're gonna back up our DynamoDB tables, let's say we had more than one table, we had uh, you know 30 or hundreds of tables. Uh, we are only backing up our tables based on tags. So for assigned resources, I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to type in for the resource name. It's going to be tagged resources. And I'm going to choose my IAM role. And of course, it's going to be AWS backup role or our backup role. And I'm going to scroll down here to refine selection using tags. And I'm going to hit add a new tag. Now for my key, of course, I'm going to select backup. In my condition, I want to select equals, and the value is going to be true. And I'm going to hit assign resource and continue. And so now we have an automated uh, backup process to back up our DynamoDB tables based on the, um, the tags that are added onto the table. So it's actually a pretty nifty trick or simple trick that you can use to back up um, the tables or the uh, your storage that you have on AWS or on-premise. Um, 
So let's just jump over here to protect the resources and I'll show you how you can create a backup plan on demand. It's pretty simple. You can just create backup on demand and resource type. Of course, you can see here, here are all, are all the resources that you can use on, for the uh, backup service. Uh, I'm gonna leave mine to DynamoDB table and I will select my QR scans. Re total retention days, 35 days. Um, if you wanna move it to cold storage, you can do that as well. I'll leave that as unchecked. And uh, the backup vault, of course, I wanna choose the DynamoDB backups. For the IAM role, um, of course, I will choose my backup role. And then I'll just hit create on demand backup. Now, as you can see here, uh, this one um, is something that I just previously uh, tried out here. But this one is the one we just uh, created right here. And it is now in the pending status. And soon it will be in the running status, which means that the, the backup is, uh, is actually taking place for that table. And so that's how you can create an on-demand backup. Uh, it does take a while for this uh, backup whole process to happen. So uh, I'll just pause the video. And when it goes back to running, um, we will reconvene. All right, so we're back, and as you can see, the status is running, which means the backup is actually taking place. It's uh, backing up all the data in the table, and once it is done, the status will move to complete. And so we're gonna go ahead and end this off here. Uh, if you have any further questions, definitely look at the AWS documentation for the backup service. It actually has really good documentation, and as you can see here, it's actually pretty simple to use the uh, AWS backup service. I really like this service. This is one of my favorite services here on the AWS platform. Um, and so definitely check it out. And as always, take care.